Virgo, welcome to your intimate tarot read. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If this is not of interest to you, your career tarot is out to date as well. What's going on? Show me that sexual energy, please, for Virgo. Show me the sexual energy, please, for Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a little bit different. Happy to be so. Okay. So yes, you can read sexual energy. It's like any other energy. It's part of our lives and it helps us understand our relationships, where they're going, why, if it's all. Honestly, they're just shorter versions, usually shorter, of the general love readings. Not always. Sometimes they can go long. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit different. <laughs> Yes, welcome, 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 welcome. If you like my energy, if you like my vibe, put in the comments, let me know, don't be shy, yeah? Stick around, like, share, maybe even subscribe. I appreciate you. If you watch tarot in the general sense, there are two basic rules here. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse energies as it applies, always. All right, there we go, let's do it. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Virgo energy. Show me what I need to see, please, for that Virgo sexual energy, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Virgo sexual energy, please. What's going on for Virgo? Some blockage. Doesn't have to be. There's an idea here, though. Show me Virgo. What's currently going on, please? Show me the sexual energy, please, for Virgo. What's currently going on for Virgo, please? What's currently going on? Okay. Ten of Cups. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. Ten of Cups. Sorry. It's really pale, isn't it? I know this is the tarot deck of sexual magic. It's terribly popular, but the center is so pale. Oh, it's so pale. Yes. Okay. We're in a happy, emotional, committed place. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Good. Six of Wands. We still got some fire there. We got some confidence. Is there mutual energy, please? Show me the mutual energy, please, between Virgo and their person. Show me that mutual energy, please, between... Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Y'all been together for a minute. Okay. You both feel it. Time has passed. You have invested in each other. Uh, I see the opening here with the Ten of Cups. So you're in an emotionally committed relationship, as far as I can tell. So this goes beyond sexual energy. So we're going to take a look at actually what's going on within it. There is some stagnation. It's mutual stagnation between you. In other words, you and your partner both feel it. Uh, you've been together long enough. Your physical energies aren't always exchanging at a rapid rate, if you will. There might be some low-level boredom. Okay, hopefully not. We're going to clarify. Uh, but yeah, your physical energies are very, 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 very used to each other. Okay, it's, it's mutual. You understand this. All right, cool. Strengths, please. Okay. Somebody does feel disconnected. Five of Pentacles, underlying the energy, okay? Also a very strong affinity to music for either you or your person, okay? There is some disconnectivity here. How far it goes, I don't know, but that's why we're here. Show me the strengths, please. Show me Virgo's strengths, please. Show me Virgo, okay. Strength, oh my, yes. <laughs> strength over strength, oh my. I'm looking at a Virgo with a great deal of pride. Mm. Great deal of pride. Great deal of pride, uh, sexually and otherwise. Okay, just in the overall sense. All right. Uh, a good deal of sexual energy, confidence, pride. Excellent. Very nice. Lovely. So you get in there and you tackle it, baby. That's a little side note. <laughs> yes. Very possessive energy here. Very possessive. Nine of Pentacles. Not just possessive in the negative sense, but uh, like I said, you delve in there, right? When it comes time. Leave that one alone. So when it's time, you know strength of conviction. You put your whole physical self into this, right? You are big on the contact, the actual physical piece, which you can touch, taste, etc. Okay. Very strong. Also a great deal of pride. Okay. Sometimes you can be very prohibiting. In other words, nothing, right? Nothing. All right. Sometimes you have to block or you feel the need to reject because strength works in the reverse too. It takes as much strength to push away as it does to pull towards us. So let's keep going. But overall, very sensual. I'm looking at a very sensual Virgo. Comfortable, you know, it, the frequency isn't where it used to be, but if you've been together long enough, that's pretty normal, right? All right, issues, weaknesses, please. Issues, weaknesses for Virgo. What's going on here? Anything that Virgo should be made aware of? The Emperor. Oh, we a little too firm? Are we a little too firm sometimes? Or we're not firm enough? 
Mm. Again, I'm not trying to make these sexual. I'm not trying to. I'm really not. It just kind of happens. <laughs> yes, the emperor. Let me know when a power card shows up in the obstacles or weaknesses category. It can literally be that power sign. Okay, so some of y'all might be dealing with the Aries and they're a little stubborn. Sometimes you might be a little too stubborn. All right, about what we shall see. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to take a look. Five of Wands. Sometimes there's combativeness, though. Especially in the physical en uh, energy. Why? Somet or do you sometimes feel stronger than your partner? Yeah. Like you might have more of a sex drive than they do. Is that what it is? That happens. Yeah. <laughs> that might be it. Show me the outcome, please. 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 King of Wands, very strong determined. Let me know if you're connecting with Leo, but it's not just passion. Unfortunately, the King and Queen of Wands, they get such a, it's not that it's negative necessarily, but it's just such an assumed reputation. Oh, they're all about the passion. It, wand is fire. Fire lives in the now. That means affection. That means caring. That means love right there in the moment. Not having to think about it, not even having to feel about it. It's an automatic reaction to want to hug someone, to show them affection, to show that you care. Okay, so there is a sense here of strong determination of our feeling and what we're living now and feeling now in the moment. Hopefully it's uh, between you two. You look pretty strong, somebody a little too strong, maybe. Or perhaps it's just the representation of the sex drive. You might have a stronger sex drive and you might consider that to be a weakness. Or you feel like your partner is has a stronger sex drive or, upon clarification, not strong enough. Let's find out. That's why we're here. Yep. It gets real. Real terror reflects real life, honey. Somebody got a truth and they're pushing it off. That's for some of you, not all of you. Somebody has a pathway, they know it, but they're pushing it off. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Virgo. Show me what to see. I'll see. No, I don't like that. Is that physical energy? Sometimes it's like a battle to bring it together. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Especially if somebody has a stronger sex drive. I understand. Uh, we got the hair font here on the split. We're looking at that five of swords. Why? Why are we looking at that five of swords so strong? Your earth cousin Taurus. You, know, you might be dealing with one. You might got a Taurus in your chart. We're we looking at that five of swords so hard. What's going on? What's going on? If the hair font's looking at it, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Virgo. What's going on? Dude, seriously. It's, it's, it's like it's sometimes it's a battle to come together with your partner in a way that's cohesive, makes sense, or on even on the spiritual level. You know? And I agree. Absolutely. Sexuality and spirituality are intertwined. That's like Scorpio's fucking motto, man. It, it should take you to a higher plane of existence with your person. Absolutely. And sometimes it, it literally feels like a fucking battle to come together physically or spiritually with your person. That's kind of what I'm saying. But let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Show me. Show me. See, there is the passion there. There is a drive here. A lovership quality. My, moving our passion forward. What's going on? Show me this Ten of Cups. Uh, overall, gorgeous emotional energy. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's see what's going on. Show me this Ten of Cups, please, for Virgo's current. Show me this Ten of Cups, please. Show me this Ten of Cups, please, for Virgo's current. Show me. Nine of Cups. There is pleasure here, but somebody... Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Why are we putting off singular energy in a commitment? Why are we putting off singular, singular energy in a commitment? What's going on here? Show me this. Why? Show me the Nine of Cups. Somebody doesn't have their pleasures met. That's it, really. That's the long and short of it. They wish they had more confidence to say, this is what would please me, this is what would make me happy sexually. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I wish I had more. So, Nine of Pentacles isn't just about being single. It's also having the independence to be confident in our own right, regardless of being in a relationship. So, somebody wishes they had more confidence to say, this is what would make me please. You know, this is what would give me pleasure. You know, how do you say, with confidence, I would like more blowjobs? How do you say that? It could be that simple. <laughs> That's for some of you, not all of you. Show me this Nine of Cups, please. Oh my, yes. Whoa, okay. 
Oh, you're talking now, baby. Oh, wow, you are talking. Whoa, you're talking now. I just said that, and that some, for some reason that freed up your energy. That's exactly what I want. I want more blowjobs, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am trying to be taken seriously as a tarot reader. It's just, you have to... It's, it's just from my perspective, it's a little different. Okay. We're holding back four of coin with the tower. Here's the truth. We're holding back from the truth. Four of pentacles with the tower. Okay, Scorpio energy does not have to be. Some of you might, off note, some of you might be retaining a Scorpio's energy. Does not have to be, but for some of you that's a literal thing. Uh, but yeah, we're holding back from a truth. From what I can tell, it's what would make us happy with that Nine of Cups. Very strong sexual energy here. This is what would make me happy, but we can't speak our truth. Okay, we can't speak our truth. This is, ooh, it's forbidden. Or uh, there could be a fear of rejection, or they may not understand what I want. Especially, you know, you know how it is. You've been together long enough, it's like you don't expect anything to change. And if you made requests or anything like that, it's like, oh, they're gonna think I'm weird. Well, why would they? If they've been with you this long, how can it possibly be that much of a surprise? Okay, so I was like, oh, it would be too shocking if I asked for that. Really, though? Would it be? <laughs> oh, Virgo, honey, you got to get in touch with that side. Okay, or your person. Reverse energies as it applies. Here's why I'm concerned. I think this is why we hold back from what we want with that Nine of Cups energy right here. This is what I want. Yes, we're in this together, but this is what would make me happy as an individual. I see you or somebody actively refraining from their personal truth. It would be, to be too shocking. It would be, it would be too much. It would be too much. And here's why, you know, it's the, it, it's the 10 of wands, 10 of cups, not here twice. I see it mutual. There's a certain hardship here within the commitment that prohibits somebody from saying, this is what I want. And what that hardship is, I don't know. That's, that's for you to know. In this deck, it's a little different than the Ten of Wands. We're playing a high-stakes game of poker. We can't take our masks off. We can't reveal our truth. We don't feel comfortable with our Ten of Cups here, which that's unfortunate. If there's anyone you could say, this is what would make me happy or please me, it should be your Ten of Cups. But somebody feels so prohibited. It would be too much of a hardship, a strain, or a burden, or it wouldn't be welcome, or they would reject the idea outright. It's not an absolute, but the theory is here. Somebody's convinced of this. Perhaps you tried in the past. Perhaps they tried in the past and it was shot down. It was too weird. It was too shocking. It's like, I don't think I could... I don't, I don't think I could do that, whatever that is. I don't want to be rejected, right? So, therefore, we give that person nothing to reject. We keep our pleasures to ourselves. Okay. That's what it's amounting to here. Okay, we keep the peace. We keep the balance, we keep the harmony. Nothing shocking, nothing crazy, right? We make it work. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, what's going on? Oh, but my God. If somebody could, they would. Mm-hmm. Devil energy is a little different in sexual tarot. It's not just fears and insecurities and addictions. Okay. Show me the Seven of Pentacles. You both feel it. You both feel the kind of low-level, um, the, the kind of relaxed comfort, the comfort zone of a commitment that's been together for a long time. Show me the Seven of Pentacles, please. Show me that Seven of... Okay. You both have come to accept things just aren't the way they used to be. This is mutual. I can't stress that enough. This is mutual. Temperance, card of Sagittarius does not have to be, and then the Eight of Cups. You both understand, and I, this is literally for the both of you. You both have come to terms that this is the comfort zone. This is where we are in life. It, it grew to a certain point, and it kind of stopped, especially on the physical plane. The emotional plane still seems to be active, but the physical plane is not where it used to be, okay? We have healed ourselves to this. Acceptance. This is acceptance. All right, it's acceptance, the Eight of Cups. I understand things aren't, the feeling that need for the physical expression isn't there. There might, somebody might, I do believe it's the both of you. We have gone from a 10 to an 8, okay? We're not fully walking away. I'm seeing a resignation here. This is, this is, this is us. This is just who we are, okay? 
Whether or not it's great, it's up to you. It's not for me. Okay? Um, but yes, there is... See, it's the comfort. The comfort is here. I see it. The comfort is here. Of two energies that are extremely familiar with each other. And they don't want to rock the boat. You know? They don't want to rock the boat. Alright? I'm not saying you two don't have sex. That's not what I'm saying. Okay? We just kind of heal ourselves to... This is how things are. Alright? That's it. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> strengths is strengths, literally. Show me strength, please. Show me strengths, please. I do feel like one person specifically, it could be your person is feeling prohibited from saying what they really want. There is a strong fear of rejection or that they'll be not taken seriously because they have a great deal of pride. You know, and they want their pleasures taken seriously, so they haven't presented them at all. That's coming across very strongly. I would really like this, but also, if I show that it would give me too much pleasure, or it would mean too much to me, and then if it is rejected, I'm going to feel weird, and I don't want to... And I agree, you should not be made to feel weird. You know, it just sucks. I wish you could express it to your tin cups, and I hope that you do one day. Okay. Oh my, okay. King of Swords, Strong Truth, looking at that Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Moon of Energy, and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Strength. Some of you might cut out the stagnation in future, but I don't think you're anywhere near ready to approach that thought full throttle yet. There is a desire of Ace of Cups behind the stagnation, but it's hidden by the moon and anxiety. In other words, no one's anywhere near ready to address that concept. I will show it to you, but that's it. All right. Can we narrow down strength, please? Mm, we continue to show our person love, yes? Show me. Okay. There is a hint of new for some of you. Show me. Show me, please. Can I get a better idea of strength, please? Can I get a better idea? Like I said, you make it work. What's going on? What's going on? Show me strength, please. Show me strength. Show me strength. I need a better... Okay. Oh, fuck. The world. Why did I just see that the strength is under that? What? Maybe some of you are ready for that. Show me the world. Show me the... Okay. Ho! Oh. Hello. As I said, some of you are not ready to go anywhere near the concept of new, and some of you are. Whoa. Whoa. Virgo, you just... Honey, if, if I had the emoji symbol to put over my head right now where my mind is exploding, this would be it. Like, seriously. I told you, some of you weren't ready to go anywhere near the concept of new. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Strongly considered, but not there. Others of you are ready. Holy hell. Do you have any idea how hard it is to surprise me? Seriously. Like, seriously. Hello. Do you have any idea how hard it is to su Dude, what the f- Some of y'all are taking on the world. You're closing out this cycle. Some of you are like, fuck the comfort zone. Whoa! Some of y'all really went through that. Because one of my mottos, honey, I say it all the time. I've just never, I don't think, ever said with you. It's never come up. Comfort kills. And it's like, my comfort is killing me. Wow. Mutual resignation. I said mutual acceptance, and in a way it is. It's a mutual resignation. The feeling's not there anymore. Holy shit, Virgo. Look at this. I want a new chapter. I want a new hope and vision. I've been waiting a long time. I'm closing this cycle out. It's taking you strength to do this. That would explain the emperor. Some of you might feel like you're being too strong or not strong enough. Or they might be putting up a resistance. We will see. Whoo! Wow. Wow. It was too much of a burden, wasn't it? 
the Ten of Cups over the Ten of Cups against one Ten of Wands, I just figured, hey, you're going to keep going at it, you know? At some point, somebody did pull the tower, or you are holding on to someone else's energy. Wow. Wow. So I did keep seeing that single independent energy. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You do want to be single again. Wow. It's hard to get a feel for you, Virgo. Sometimes. I think I've told you that before. Wow. Jesus. Too much pain in the heart space. There, there you Oh, honey, there you are. Oh, Virgo, there you are. You have been looking at someone else and it causes you pain. It causes you pain. What's behind that? Oh, you've been wanting to move forward to them for a long time. Oh. Okay, show me the weaknesses, please. Wow. Did we just really kill 20 minutes? Yes, we did. Show me the emperor, please. I can't wait anymore. I need I need my new chapter. I need my vision. I need... Uh, oh, my God. Show me the Emperor, please. Under strength. So if you're dealing with the Aries, this might be a reflection of them. Could literally be that. Wow. So it's mutual. You both have agreed that the emotionality is not where it's... It, at first, I thought it was acceptance. In fact, it's like you both have come to terms with it. I don't... This is not what I want. Communication? How so? How so? How so? Show me. Show me. How is that the weakness? How is this the obstacle? Oh, so it's just self-awareness. Okay. Okay. Lover's at the bottom of the deck. There is someone else. All right. Okay. All right. It's acceptance then. It's acceptance. It's a strong one too. And having to do what we need to do as the Emperor Energy. I've made a decision about the Seven of Pentacles, the investment. Okay. So it's not a weakness. It's not an obstacle. This is known to you. And you know you're going to have to be firm as also being reflected here with strength. Heavy Leo Aries energy here. You might have those placements in your chart. The world is here. So that's Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Scorps, Sag. Wow. Goodness gracious. Look at that. Look at the strength of this fucking conviction, man. Wow. Wow. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, there it is again. On the there, There's someone else you were separated from that you want to be with. Okay. Um, this relationship that you were in, the commitment, it's clearly a commitment, did prove to be a bigger strain than I understood. Truly. So this has been with you for a while upwards to 10 years, possibly more, possibly up to 14. Okay. See, I told you. This is why I would do sexual energy, man. It's just one more reason to look at a relationship, and this is a hell of a one, too. This is not casual at all. None whatsoever. This, this goes far beyond sexual energy. Okay, show me this King of Wands. You part on peaceful terms, I'm guessing. Show me this King of Wands, please, or you have a strong new sense of battery direction. Show me this King of Wands. Six of Pentacles, balancing up with the Empress. Oh, you're going to balance up with the Empress. Is this the one you want? Dual card of Taurus Libra. Honoring your pathway levels you up. Of course. Every time we honor our pathway, it always levels us up. The harder thing to do is always the right thing to do. I know. Show me more about the Six of Pentacles. Who are you balancing up with in your practical Virgo way? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Who are we balancing up with? It's balanced. It's fair. It's balanced. You're going to... Okay. So you're balancing up. You're doing the right thing. Um, you're parting on peaceful terms. Okay. Balancing up the correct way. Six of Pentacles, all is fair and well and balanced here. You will part on peaceful terms. And then you will immediately move your Seven of Cups forward. I'm sorry, your Knight of Cups to the Seven of Cups. You're immediately going to move that forward. And this one, it's a little different. 
Love options open? Yeah, but not for you. I've seen it. There's somebody in the background that you wish to connect with. The reason, not the reason. There's a drive here to become single, and there's the reason why you're looking at them. Do you see it? There's someone that you have been watching. I've seen their background energy a couple times. Okay. That you want to move your cup forward to. All right, the lover's energy. Um, the four of wands person that you keep seeing over and over again, the one that you've been gaining perspective on in the meantime. Wow, Virgo. I do say it to you, I've been saying very direct to you because I've been seeing very direct energy, but again, reverse energy says it applies, all right? Holy hell, you just shocked the hell out of me, honey. Congratulations. That's so rare. Prosper New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Yes, indeed. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. All right. So we have tried to make ourselves known, and it just went unheard. Is that what I'm hearing? Like I said, this goes beyond sexual energy. You've tried to make ourselves heard, and you've gone unheard, and you felt like you had to wear a mask constantly about who you are, what it is you wanted, what you want to see out of your life. Okay. All right. All right. How else would you advise? Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. The South Node. The South Node is what we need to pay attention to because it is what refrains us from moving forward in life. So your South Node, whatever your South Node is, okay, that tends to be your negative or polar opposite. You need to pay attention to your South Node energy overall, but don't let your past hold you back, okay? Time is no guarantee of success, as we've had to learn. Adjustments are required. That is so you. That is such a Virgo statement. If there's ever a Virgo statement, that, that would be it. Adjustments are required. Yeah. Okay. Surrender to the divine under the full moon. Some of you are under the guidance of the full moon. Or you follow the moon. Or the person that you... The person you wish to be with, they have a strong moon energy. Okay, I feel like you were reflecting that energy back at them. When you look in the mirror, you see the moon, or you see the person that you wish to be with. They represent the moon energy. Surrender to the divine. Yeah. For some of you, you have Pisces in your chart as well. Full moon. Okay, there you go. Fuck me. Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Your hard work is paying off. FYI, you're doing okay in career. Okay. <laughs> A personal issue reaches resolution, I should say. Virgo, I hope this message finds you well. Um, wow. This is very powerful, and it's firm, I must say. It's quite firm um, and fair. Firm and fair. Okay. All right. I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.